new to Canvas, maybe you aren't really even sure what Canvas is. Don't worry, you've come to the right place. Through this tutorial, you'll learn that Canvas is an online learning platform that our classes at Laurel Ridge can be hosted in. We're finding that once students get all logged into their first Canvas course, it really doesn't take them long to figure out how to navigate around in the course. So take this journey with me today and we'll get you going in the right direction. The agenda today really is pretty simple. We're going to talk about how to get into Canvas, how to navigate around Canvas, and then I'm going to share a few more resources for you to access at the end. The bulk of our time today will be found in how to navigate in a Canvas course. We have created a document that explains all of the steps of getting into your My Laurel Ridge account. This was likely emailed to you, or you could have seen the link when you registered for the class. If not, you can also find this at www.laurelridgeworkforce.com. You'll go to the tab that says Courses and Programs, and then in the drop-down menu, you will go to Register for Classes. And then the link is at the bottom of that page. Please read and follow these instructions very carefully. There is even information in that document that will explain what to do if you have any problems along the way. This is what the screen will look like if you log in to laurelridge.edu and then click on My Laurel Ridge in the right hand corner. Go ahead and add your username and password and then click Sign In. Once you are logged in, your screen should look similar to this. Since you have a student account, it might look slightly different than this one, and that's okay. Just locate the Canvas tile. You will need to click on that in just a minute. But before you do, please notice that you also have a Gmail tile. That's right, you have a free Gmail email account for you to use. It is super important to know this since your Canvas account will send important reminders to this email address unless this has changed. Your Gmail account will end with email.vccs.edu as a suffix rather than Gmail. If this is confusing, click on the Gmail tile and once you are in, click on your profile information on the top right hand corner and it will give you the full email address there. Please know that if Workforce Solutions tries to contact you they will use whatever email you provided to us when you registered for the class. Lastly, you will need this email address if the publisher of your textbook has additional information for you to access. It is important that you use this email address since that textbook could be linked to your Canvas course. Now, please click on the Canvas tile. Great, you're now into Canvas. You will notice that there are a lot of things on this page. Don't worry, we'll take it step by step. If you've only enrolled in one class with us, your page will likely look much simpler, but I wanted to show you a picture so that you can see what your student account might look similar to once you are all logged in. On the very left hand side of the page, you will see the navigation menu. This is how you will navigate all around in your courses. The account tab is where you can set up your profile information. You can add an appropriate student picture to your account. This will be especially helpful if you are enrolled in a fully online class. The next button down is the dashboard. That is likely where you will, what you will see when you first log on. This is where all of your courses are located. If your class isn't using the Canvas platform, then you will not see it here. If you are logged on several days before the start of the class, it's possible that your course just isn't visible to students yet. As your instructor publishes the course, you will see it show up. Sometimes that's just a day or two before the class starts. But don't worry, if you've gotten this far, you're in good shape for your class. The next button is called Courses. 
that is where you will see the list of classes that you are enrolled in. Next is the group tab. It's not likely that you'll use this in a workforce class, but just in case, this is where you would go if you were assigned to a group. Next is the calendar. This is where you will see assignments, quizzes, and tests that are due. You can also see any Zoom links that might be set up for you to join. Next is the inbox. This is where you can email your instructor directly if you have a question. Just a reminder, this is your Gmail account that we talked about a little bit earlier. Last is the Help tab. This is probably one of the most important buttons. Once you click on that, you'll see all sorts of resources that are available to you 24-7. That's right, 24-7 you can have help access. There are also other tutorials in there that you can watch if you're having any problems or if you just want to learn more. You will also notice three little dots near the top of the screen and also on each of the cards in the center of the screen. That is a More button. If you click on that, it will give you more options that are available to you. Lastly, on the right hand side, you will see all of the things in your to-do list. This is a great way to see what due dates are coming up in your classes. Now we're going to switch over to some live Canvas courses. I want to show you some samples of a few courses that we've set up so that you can see and, and, I, and get an idea of what your course might look like. The first class that we are going to be looking at today is Dental Assisting. As you can see, I have chosen um, Dental Assisting under the Courses tab. Now that I am into the course, you will see an additional navigational menu here to the left. This is the menu that will get you around the course. On our home screen, screen you will see um, start here with regards to course modules. You'll see a syllabus tab and tech resources. Next, you will see announcements. This is where instructors can post any announcements regarding anything upcoming for the class. Sometimes it could be a reminder of something to bring. Uh, other times it could look like um, a weather announcement um, or it could be just a change in the class. So you'll want to make sure that you check your announcements before coming to class. Next is the syllabus tab. Under this tab, you may see the course syllabus listed. Um, in this one, it's actually under modules, and another one we'll look at, it's actually under this tab. So it could be in either place. Most of everything you will need is found under your modules tab. Typically, there will be a welcome to class module right at the top of your screen. So you'll learn everything about your instructor, and this is where the syllabus and handbook are located at. Um, you'll see what you may need to do before coming to your first lab, any class introductions, student agreements. Um, typically, we will then have um, anything related to your textbook um, posted here. Next, anything that you might need to know that's sort of outside of just the regular classroom. And then we'll begin week one. Um, and you will see under each week, um, there are different things that need to be done. For example, this one says read chapters one through three. And this is not a graded assignment, but it is something for you to do. This way you can go down the list and see exactly what needs to be done. I'm going to go back here to modules go back to week one. You will also see when there are quizzes and any other assignments. Again, this continues for week two, all, everything that needs to be done. And all you need to do is point and click on each of these to get the full understanding of exactly what is included for that homework assignment. You don't want to just read look at this and decide what you need to do. You want to actually click into it and find out exactly if there's more information that you need to know. 
And then at the bottom, after you've gone through all the different weeks of the class, um, in this course, there are career and workforce readiness, including resume, building, interview skills, next steps, career exploration. Um, so each class is set up a little bit differently, but I hope from showing you these examples, you'll get a sense of where everything should be located. Your instructor can certainly give you more information once you get into your specific class, but this should give you the highlights. Next is Zoom. So if you have a Zoom class um, one evening, your the link for that should be here since this is an old course it's not showing up at this point but it will typically have the start time and then you'll say join next are your grades since this is just a test that i'm running at this point it's not actually going to show any grades but it will show you what's um, if you log in here what's missing um, You'll see in the next example, there's a whole lot of missing things, and that's simply because it's just for a test student, as noted here. So this is a quick way to get a sense of what's due when, um, if you've completed it, and how you've done. And last is library resources. If you need additional resources for your class, this is a great place to go, and you can find out more of what we have to offer through our library. Next, we're going to go to our uh, we're going to go to a pharmacy tech class. Great, now we are into the pharmacy tech class. I've gotten to that through courses. Since I'm looking at a student view, I can't show you all of the navigation, but again, you would click on courses and the one that you would like. Now that we're into the course, we're going to navigate around it through this bar right here. Um, so again, home screen looks the same. Next is announcements. You'll see reminders. Sometimes it's about homework. Sometimes it's about class tonight. Um, and you can simply just click on um, exactly what that reminder is, and it'll give you all of that information that the instructor wants you to have. So next we'll go to syllabus. And you can see in this one, it is posted here as well as in modules. This one also gives more of the course summary as well in those due dates. You can also see it a uh, quick overview over here to the right. Um, and if you, this is an older course as well, so it's already completed, so you won't see the dates here in this calendar, but um, in a new course, you will see those as well. Next, again, almost everything is under modules. So you'll have your welcome to your class. Um, any helpful websites. Again, the syllabus and handbook is here. Um, this instructor has posted lots of handbooks and videos here at the top of everything that they needed to know. They also have certification information and practice exams here. And then she begins with week one. She also has the dates posted. Um, and then everything is listed under each tab so um, you would just scroll over that area and click on it and again you do want to go into each of these so that you can see exactly what the assignment is then it continues on for week two it's set up exactly the same worksheet worksheets the math um, the powerpoints and what they need to know and quizzes so as you can see, each instructor lays it out just a little bit differently, but it's usually pretty easy to follow. And at the bottom of this one, she also has posted class recordings. So any recordings that um, the instructor may have done may be posted in here as well. It could be under a separate tab or they could have gone back into like say um, week 12 and put it in this area as well after that recording was made. Again, the Zoom tab. Again, it's an older course, so they're not showing up right here, but you can also go to the previous meetings, and there you can see where they were posted. And then any recordings are there as well. And as you can see, it's an older course, so it kind of gets rid of those grades. And you can see for this one, a lot is missing, but that's simply again, because it was um, for a test student. 
and again, library resources. So once you get in and get clicking around, um, students generally um, can navigate this pretty well. We are, we are coming to the end of the presentation, but we are, we are certainly not, not at the end of everything that you can learn. The great, the great news is that there are all sorts of free resources out there for you to access. Our Laurel Ridge website has a page on it with all sorts of resources for you to get access to. If you go to laurelridge.edu slash canvas dash resources backslash you will access a page that has all kinds of things on it. They offer a tutorial course that is self-paced, um, and you can actually earn badges by going through that and completing, completing each step. Um, there's information about the mobile app. There are help guides, as well as contact support to get 24-7 access via phone or online chat. Here are just a few other tips for you to be successful as possible in your course. The first one is make sure you use Google Chrome as your internet browser. It really does make a difference, so please be sure to use that. If you are taking a course with us, please get logged in as soon as possible. Don't wait until the last minute or until the class starts. Certainly, if you need help, um, reach, reach out, out well, well in advance of coming to class. class. Lastly, your, your Canvas, Canvas course, course may not show up until a day or two before, before the class starts. Um, um, as soon as your instructor publishes it, it will become available. As, as we end, thank, thank you so much, much for your time today. today. Please, Please feel free to review, review this video as much as you need to. Thank you and have a great day. Good luck with your upcoming class.